Good evening. Welcome to Reality Check. I'm Ankita Mukherjee. Does the BJP have a plan B after dumping the PDP in Jammu and Kashmir? A day after the pullout, the opposition fears that the governor's decision to keep the assembly in suspended animation could lead to political uncertainty and horse trading. Fears triggered by the, a soundbite from the former Deputy Chief Minister Kavinder Gupta. जिन मुद्दों को लेकर हमने किया मुझे लगता है कि गवर्नर रूल में वो उससे ज्यादा बेहतर हालात ठीक हो सकते हैं Well, former Chief Minister and National Conference leader Omar Abdullah tweeted saying the Jammu and Kashmir State Assembly should be dissolved immediately and fresh elections should take place as soon as appropriate. The former Deputy Chief Minister has admitted the BJP can't be trusted not to horse trade for government formation. In fact, both the National Conference and the PDP have demanded the dissolution of the Assembly and fresh elections since no party is in a position to form a government. But as the chorus for fresh elections grows, does the security situation in the valley even allow for polls to take place? In fact, those are how the numbers stack up. The PDP on its own with 28 seats, uh, the, with the BJP's 25. Uh, that's how it stayed in power, the National Conference and the Congress just at 15 and 12 seats. But the bigger question really, whether elections can take place. The by-elections in Srinagar last year just saw 7% polling. The Anantnag by-poll scheduled since 2016 has still not been held. Governor N.N. Vora, the man now responsible for running the state, held a security review meeting this afternoon. Sources are telling NDTV forces who may have been under pressure to go slow in some operations because of political compulsions will now have a free hand to proceed with their operations. बीच में हमने एक सस्पेंशन ऑफ ऑपरेशन का दौर देखा क्योंकि हम चाहते थे कि जो वहाँ की आवाम थी रमजान के महीने में उन्हें सही तरीके से नमाज अदा करने का उन्हें मौका मिले उन्हें किस तरह की तकलीफ ना हो लेकिन इसके बावजूद हमने देखा कि जो आतंकवादी थे उन्होंने अपनी कार्रवाई जारी रखी तो उसी कारण से फिर सस्पेंशन ऑफ ऑपरेशन को खत्म कर दिया गया और हम दोबारा से ऑपरेशन करने शुरू करेंगे so as the discourse shifts firmly to a security based approach we asked tonight has mainstream political space in kashmir shrunk even further is a political solution believed to be the only way now even possible we're joined on this discussion tonight uh, um, by the hitesh jain from the bjp agar rahula chief spokesperson of the national conference with us tonight siddiq wahid former vice chancellor of the islamic university of science and technology is joining us as well as is vikramaditya singh ex mlc someone who parted with the pdp last year now um agar rahula let me begin with you Omar Abdullah insisting on fresh elections at the earliest possible date. He tweeted today saying that the deputy, the former deputy chief minister, has admitted to possible horse trading. What are the national conference's fears here? Exactly. Fears uh, and cynicism was triggered by uh, the former deputy commissioner's remarks himself. And I guess uh, to a TV channel, uh, uh, Mr. Ram Madhav's affirmation to this, uh, these comments uh, tonight or uh, somewhere in the afternoon uh, today uh, uh, as to the cynicism and fear that bjp might enter into the uh, uh, business of uh, horse trading to uh, try and develop another alliance uh, uh, breaking down certain political parties getting into unethical uh, political practice that they tried in karnataka and uh, elsewhere so this is a genuine fear that was triggered uh, by bjp and their remarks and now uh, since ram madhav himself has uh, echoed uh, the comments that uh, were made by deputy commissioner it's uh, a genuine fear that uh, after all this the demise of uh, a, a democratic structure democratic system now we are uh, uh, facing a possible horse trading therefore our our fears are right in place so why do you believe that the assembly has not been dissolved yet Uh, uh, again, uh, that reflects uh, uh, that our fear is somewhere in the right place because we we smell that P uh, BJP might enter into a business of horse trading, unethical political games, and that's why uh, they have uh, uh, they are trying to bargain uh, for, for a, uh, a more a couple of uh, two months or one month to try another uh, dispensation so that they can they can uh, create another uh, unethical combination. And then run this uh, place 
with the, with that government for another five six months and then dissolve the assembly when the parliament election is uh, announced so uh, therefore uh, this fear needs to be uh, addressed uh, at least by the uh, honorable governor and uh, it's very constitutionally right because the governor yesterday himself in the himself in the open, opening remarks said that i don't see any political combination coming up pdp said that they are not going to uh, search for another partner bjp in their opening remarks said that uh, this they were done and they do not foresee any political combination taking those f uh, opening remarks yesterday after the break up it's only constitutionally right for the governor to dissolve the assembly and then uh, let the constitutional and uh, constitution and law take its uh, course Siddhi Kwahid, why do you believe that the governor has so far chosen to keep the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly in suspended animation? And are these concerns now being voiced by the National Conference to a lesser extent by the PDP? Do they have any basis? Um, I think the concerns do have a base. I, don't, I wouldn't like to speculate as to why it has been kept in susp uh, suspension. I think that um, the... Uh, at the same time, there's another fact, and the fact is that for the BJP, the uh, horse trading, buying of uh, people and so forth has been par for the course, um, and it's been done. So I think the apprehensions uh, that are being expressed all around about why uh, the animated suspension uh, are valid, and uh, one should keep a very keen eye on that, because that has been a pattern uh, that uh, the BJP is, uh, is uh, good for um, and uh, I, I think we need to be vigilant and make sure that, uh, you know, whatever democracy is left in JNK is not further uh, hampered. I think that's an important point that you raised, but let me take uh, the first point being made to Hitesh Jain of the BJP, who's with us on the program tonight. Uh, uh, Hitesh Jain, the sense seems to be that, you know, the BJP's track record is anything but perfect when it comes to horse trading and government formations of an unlikely variety. And therefore, the belief that the National Conference and the PDP may well uh, have some concerns because the Assembly hasn't been dissolved yet. Um, is any sort of horse trading really on the cards? Do the numbers sort of even admit that possibility? And, uh, you know, where do you come in on this demand for elections as soon as possible? I think it is uh, fashionable nowadays to use the word like uh, horse trading, democratic, everything, and try to uh, uh, portray BJP in a certain light. Now, people fail to uh, understand that when people talk about horse, tra horse trading and the examples are ci cited, entire horse table was traded in Karnataka. So, one should look at the track record and then try to make aspersions. But, you know, people, uh, uh, what, what is unfortunate is people always look at the issue from the narrow prism of the politics. Uh, as far as we are concerned, we made a sincere attempt. There was a historic mandate which the BJP got. For the first time, we got uh, more than 25, uh, around 25 seats in Jammu and Kashmir. And we were for us, what we were committed was to the people of Jammu and Kashmir and try and deliver an honest platform. And we made every attempt. Now, after that, we have, we have given our reasons why, uh, why this co coalition could not continue. And uh, there are these, uh, I mean, like uh, suddenly people are trying to make up uh, from this thing, oh, there is a horse trading, something going. I don't think uh, uh, we are, people should uh, look at from the narrow perspective. When we look at the issues of such as uh, national security and uh, other important issues, you cannot merely look from the prism of politics and horse trading and all. So I'm sure that those people who are saying, I mean, we also have seen what has happened when people make the statement and the reality does come after sometimes as to where the reality is. Like we have seen in uh, in last two, three days, uh, uh, I mean, there are certain events have transpired. So for those people who are trying to level allegations, they should hold their horses. Uh, I mean, they should, uh, uh, they should just wait and uh, 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 see uh, what is going to happen. Okay, see what is going to happen. Vikramaditya Singh, you were brought into the PDP's fold as the face of Jammu. You parted ways with the party last year, saying it had disregarded the aspirations of the people of Jammu. You talked about the growing regional divide in Jammu and Kashmir. Is that rift now going to be even more difficult to heal? Absolutely, Ankita. It, it, 
it is uh, it is become becoming growingly difficult ever since Mufti Muhammad Sayyid passed away in 2016. Uh, because he was the man who had this vision and the capacity to carry people and regions with him and it went into a steady and a sharp decline ever since and it's something i had been speaking for even while i was in the pdp i kept raising issues about jammu about ladakh and saying look under stress this degree imbalance and this this grave sense of discrimination against these regions the people are not going to uh, uh, come together Uh, and i think this is what has been reflected uh, with this break up of this bjp pdp is that one of bjp's primary concerns was the fact that they were losing ground very rapidly in jammu and and the rest of jammu and kashmir all right uh, you know sadiq wahad the point is the demand is being made for fresh elections as soon as possible at the most po- uh, at the earliest appropriate time but given the fact that the shrinagar bypoll saw less than 10% voting elections in anantnag which was in fact the late mufti mohammad said's constituency election bypolls haven't been held can't be held uh, in the last 2 years uh, you know is the larger question then that the mainstream political space is vastly compromised um i don't know i mean you know i don't know what you mean by that question um and that is that uh, you know is is the space for no, I mean, we're looking democracy at now we're looking at jammu and kashmir attacks. through this security prism and and is that the only way forward uh, you know where where do we even begin no, the discourse the for a political prism, solution the security prism is not the only way forward you brought up the uh, south kashmir a uh, bipolar issue and it's uh, sort of deferring it's being it's being deferred and i think that there we need to ma- uh, make sure that we understand that the deferment has not been caused because of uh, issues of law and order or something uh, or issues even of protest but because the bjp i mean the pdp has lost its constituency and lost its uh, you know sort of salience in that part and therefore it would have been very embarrassing uh either from the point of view of voter turnout uh, which would have been low uh, and uh, the uh, possibility that uh, and and probability high probability that uh, the uh, uh, pdp would not have been able to uh, you know uh, get the votes uh, in any way 